In this video, we're going to talk about parameters and backups in the DriveTune app. If you need help getting your drive connected, click on the link below. We're going to take a look at how to view and edit parameters. We'll do that by first pressing the full parameters button on the main screen. As an example, we're going to go ahead and change the speed reference from AI1 scaled to AI2 scaled. We'll do this by scrolling down to group 22. And then inside group 22, we're going to go down to parameter 2211. Click on that, change it to AI2 scaled. Now you may notice that yellow bar next to 2211. That happens when you change parameters from their default value. Hit the left arrow shown here to go back to the main parameter screen. Click on the pencil icon if you want to view all change parameters from default value. Here's the list and you can see the very top one, 2211 is the one we just changed. You can also click the icon in the upper right hand corner if you want to export this and email this out as a PDF. Let's go back to the main screen now and take a look at Backup Restore. Here's a list of backup files that have been created. To create a new one, hit the plus icon in the upper right hand corner. Select New Backup. Here you can change the name and add a description if you like. Press the Save icon in the upper right hand corner. Now this part takes a minute so you might want to set your phone down and go grab yourself a cup of coffee. For the sake of this video, we're going to jump ahead. Once that's done, you have one last chance to edit the name and description before you send it off. And you do that by clicking the icon with the arrow. Now it can be emailed to someone to open up in Drive Composer. We'll now do a quick demonstration of the restore feature. Let's go to the parameter list, group 22, parameter 11. We're going to reset this one to default, which is AI1 scaled. We'll start the restore process by going back to the main menu and hitting Backup Restore. Select that last backup we just created. And then press that button in the upper right hand corner. Click Confirm and get ready for another wait. We'll skip ahead here. Now the restore is completed, click Close. Now let's verify that the restore was successful by going to the parameter list and check out parameter 2211. You see here that it's back to AI2 scaled. And that was a quick rundown of parameters and backup features in DriveTune. Thanks for watching.